All right, this is Julian here for Seconds Out. Are you winner, two sharp, two time, British champion, Denzel Bentley. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel good. I'm a little bit in bits, but I'm happy overall. Talk us through the fight, Denzel. Sick fight, man. Sick fight, I thought. Came out in the first, he kind of pushed my pace a bit. Made me start a bit fast. And then I thought to myself, hold on, slow down a bit, man. We got 12 rounds. So I kind of started pacing myself. I thought he won the second round. And then from there, the third round, I thought I started taking over again. I thought, don't let him in his rhythm. Don't let him in his rhythm. Um, he, was, he was missing my right hands. I landed a few, he missed a few, and I just didn't let him in my rhythm. I think everyone thought, I think he thought I was going to gas, pardon me, I think he thought I was going to gas out because he's seen a few fights where I get kind of tired and I kind of get away because of a stoppage and that. But listen, it's all different preparation. When you're, when you're, and this is why I always say, every interview, I always say, I want real fights. Because if I'm fighting guys I know I'm meant to beat, I do what I need to do in the gym, but mentally, it's not the same. It's not the same preparation. I need to be mentally switched on. And you can see what I can do when I'm mentally switched on. When I'm in the um, final journey, when it's like, all right, we just do what we need to do. Like, you're just, you're just going over it. Like, it's, not, it's not mental preparation. So that's why I look not the best in those fights. But in these fights here, it's where I thrive, man. I know I've got to be switched on. I said it to him in the build-up. I've got to be switched on every round. I've got to be switched on. I can't let him can't let him off the hook at any moment. And I, and I didn't, but he knew how to get away and I didn't want to end up chasing him because he is, he is quite slick. What were you thinking when it went to the split decision? I was thinking, I can't get robbed. I was like, no, 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 you're not robbing me. Like, what's going on? That like, split decision. I didn't think it was a split decision personally, but listen, that's the, ju that's the judge's perspective. That's the angle he saw it from. So what can I say? I can't complain. That's how we saw the fight. That was his views on it. Everyone has their views. Boxing is the only sport that's based on opinions. So that was his opinion and everyone's allowed one. Well, what's your opinion of Linus and, uh, and what he, he put to the table for the Lions, the ring? He, he was, he was right. good throughout? I think he's a sick fighter. I think he's a very good fighter. I think he'll be back. I think he's finally getting his chance to fight on the big stage. And at the moment, like, it was his moment and he, and he was getting a chance to thrive. It was against a good fighter than myself. Any, any other fight, like, if he got a touch against someone else, he'd be having a coming out party and he'd be pushing on to big things. He, he, he's still pushing on to big things, but he's just got to go and, he's got to go and work it a little bit harder now. Like I did when I took my loss. So, he, he, he got his moment, but I wasn't trying to let him have his moment. Sorry, it's, it's him or me. And, you know, I'm not going down. I, I got a, you know, I got a life I want to live. I got families to feed and all that stuff. So, I'm not going to let someone eat off my plate. So, but I, I, I was in the room for 12 rounds and that boy can fight. So, I don't write him off in the future. I think he'll do well. Um, I think eventually, if he wants to go back the British route, he'll end up winning this title. If he wants to go that route, but he will win titles and he will do things. What will you do next? I don't know, man. Um, I want to eat some junk food, but <laughs> more than anything. Fine, what food? All week I've been craving the KFC, but right now I can't even. I, I don't even feel it no more. Might have to wait till tomorrow to see how I feel. But um, yeah, listen, I'm just very. I'm in a good place right now, and I'm happy I got to share it. I shared the ring with a fighter like that yeah. on a platform like this. That was amazing. I enjoyed it. I'm sure you can see me smiling at some points. That I enjoyed it. Was it good to have a fight that wasn't like, I know you knock people out a lot, that was like back and forth exciting, got the crowd going as well, it and was, in your hometown. But, but I wanted to knock him out. <laughs> I said it, I'm going to stop him. And I nearly did, but he's fucking tough. Yeah. He's a tough guy. Did I got, you think I got you had him, him at one point? Yeah, I thought I had him a few times. I thought I had him a few times, but he was slick, he knew how to get away from it. He's a, he's a smart fighter, man. He's a good fighter, man. I rate him. So what's next? Can you... I don't know, what's next is the rest. Get back, talk to the team. Um, speak to my manager, my trainer, speak to Frank, see what they got planned for me, see where we can go, have a conversation, tell them why I want to go, and see if they can, you know, um, provide it for me. Any fighters in mind who, where do you want to go? I want to go to the world, I want to go to the world, the world stage, I want to be a world champion. So This was that fight that's going to push me back to where I was when I won this off everyone, but this is in front of a crowd, that's what makes it even better. I fought four fights behind closed doors, and I had one fight at Birmingham. I didn't have a crowd like that, yeah. about 50 people. So I haven't really experienced a crowd like that in two years. So that was amazing. That I, I fully, I really enjoyed that. And I'm happy it was, it wasn't just a journeyman fight or whatever. It was a proper real fight, an undefeated fight that was coming to scrap. Do you think maybe Magomed Madia, before Felix Cash dropped him twice, if you were to say stop him not put in a performance similar to Felix Cash, not get dropped or anything, and be more dominant, that could be a route to a rematch, which I'm sure you like. With who Cash? 
Yeah, if you, in, yeah, but I'm sure he's not gonna want that rematch at British level. So I just gotta focus on myself. I know I want that rematch, but it's not it's not worth talking about it right now. I'm just gonna tell you I want the rematch, but yeah. it's not worth trying to push for it now. He's not gonna want that for the British. He's done this. Yeah. Um, he's gonna want to move on to world level, and so am I. So you know, God willing, I win a world title. If he wins a world title, or we get to that stage, we can compete for one again. We're British fighters. That's all. Mix it, man. And I've always said this as well. Imagine this: all them young kids in America. Like, let's say, for example, they're lightweight, yeah. Uh, the Fantastic Four, T.O., Ryan, yeah. Tank, and uh, Haney. If they were British, they would be competing at British level. Look at their age, like this is the one of them titles. You feel me? The they don't have that kind of middle stage, so they get to catapult straight to world level. We could all, if, if we didn't have a British level, we could all be mixing it for world title eliminators and all like what the light heavyweights in this country are doing now. Like me, Linus, uh, Felix, Dignam, who's got a world title shot. All these guys that are in the top Sam Egan and whoever, like whoever's in the top one to seven could all mix it at that level. But in Britain, you got that domestic stage, and if you lose at this stage, it makes people feel like you can't become a world champion. But these fights are probably just as hard as the world. I ain't been in a world title fight, but it's probably just as hard yeah. as world title fights. Like look at George Groves and the girl. They fought for the British. They both wanted to be world champions. Like, do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's, it's that good of a title. <laughs>